Hi, I am Ryan Fernandez, Entra Software Test Engineer. Today I would like to walk you through the integration of Marantz's Kubernetes engine and the Entrust EnShield HSM. Although this integration is performed with the Entrust EnShield on-premise, the integration process is the same as Entrust EnShield as a service. To prepare for the integration of Marantz's Kubernetes engine and the EnShield HSM, I performed the installation using the following recommended products and versions. It is recommended to follow the Entrust Marantis Kubernetes Engine and EnShield integration document to complete installation. This integration guide is located on entrust.com forward slash documentation. To begin this integration, you must have all components installed prior to the following steps. Once the Security World client and the Marantis software prerequisites are installed, configure MKE to be able to deploy pods. This guide assumes the use of a Docker registry to store the Docker images. At the beginning of our integration process, we created nscop Docker containers and pushed them to our internal Docker registry. We let MKE know about how to authenticate to that registry. Now I will demonstrate applying the configuration map YAML file for the HSM details. Next, I will generate the persistent volumes in MKE. Let's verify the persistent volume and claim has been created right after. Before running any of the applications, the file path opt and fast km data local into persistent volume needs to be updated with the latest world and module files. To do this, create a YAML file to run a pod that gives access to the persistent volume so these files can be copied. The final steps will be to deploy the NSCOP pods with your application. You will need to create a YAML file that defines how to launch the hard server and your application container into MKE. Here's a deployment of a YAML file that shows how to run the enquiry command which prints enquiry data from the module. Here is the enquiry output. Next, here is how to run the NFKM info command, which, use, which shows information about the current security world. All of the example YAML files used in this integration can be located within the integration guide. And here is the output of NFKM info. The MKE web UI can be used to manage your MKE objects. I will navigate to the screen where the pods we deployed can be shown. As you can see, they are running. This concludes the Marantis Kubernetes Engine integration demo with Entrust EnShield. Be sure to check entrust.com forward slash documentation for the latest documented integrations available from Entrust.